Hi, I'm Wendy Ross for the USCA and Harness Racing Fan Zone. We hope you enjoyed our first video in the three-part series Road Warrior with Aaron Merriman, presented by Omega Alpha Equine. Take a look at part two as we go from traveling down the road to an action-packed day with him at the Meadows. We talk about why he stays in the Midwest, being a leader, and how you have to be in it to win it. Omega Alpha, your source for effective supplements through science since 1992, including Regenerate, Iotic 8, Hemex, Equine Liver Flush, Healthy Horse, Testos Boost, Minarec, Equine Anti Flam, and many more. So, when you're making this drive, what are the markers? The, um, the 209 mile marker, which is Route 5, there, whatever, that takes around 35 minutes from home. Okay. And then usually, I'd say it's usually close to, so it's like another half hour to the border, maybe a tick less. And then it's a little bit less than an hour from the border, but you get on, then you got like 25 minutes from the border to 79, and then around 30 to 35 minutes there. Down there, okay. Yep, so I got, I break it up like in four little things, four little stages. I got the four stage routine. You don't even read the program. No. But you know the horses I used you're driving. To be like a, yeah, I used to be like a fanatic. I've got to get that program the first day it gets out. My thing now is when my first drive is, when my last drive is, like at the track. I get there, like at the meadows, I'll give it a glance, see who I have in, and then I go. That's, I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I know the drivers, I know the horses. Right. Or even if I don't know the horse, I know the drivers. The driver tendencies help a lot, you know? And the horses will tell you so much how they feel anyway when they get on the track. You're not a follower. You, I think you yeah. certainly are a leader. You yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely I feel like I feel that. You know, I mean, like I said, I'm not just because I make a little bit more money. I'm not going to get the, uh, you know, what I mean, like all the designer clothes and stuff like that. I mean, I see it. I, it, it, it annoys me so bad, <laughs> actually, to see like everybody like, oh, I'm I'm going to be all New York style or this kind of style, or whatever, because I got money now. I was like, no, I'm going to be me no matter what. Like, you know, what I mean, like. It, because I live out of my car. Like that's, I saw the trunk is really packed. Yeah, well, I actually, there's some, <laughs> I took some summers out yesterday and put, I was like, am I going to put these, hang these things back up my my back seat on the, I got like a little bar. I was like, I was like no, the football's on. <laughs> that's legit. Yeah. Just for I went to Quaker Steak to yeah. eat lunch and that's where I change out of too. I don't even go to the driver's room at Dayton or Sauda. We're, we're there to, to to race and we did something that day. You know, we, we had our lives that day. We don't come in there looking prim and proper and look like we're going to prom. How do you feel about the criticism you take or when people always ask you, why did you never go out east? Why did you never do this? I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, I had opportunities. I've had opportunities to go east um, by a few different trainers and a couple owners. And they've asked on numerous occasions, even the racetrack asked me to come out to change up the racing a little bit. Um, but it's never something I felt like I needed to do. I don't think I need to prove myself to anybody. I don't need to prove myself to be out there. Like, I work hard enough here, you know what I mean? And I know it's a, it's a tough, and I just don't like the criticism, like saying like, oh, well, Aaron's doing this, or Aaron's racing against this, or Aaron's doing, I don't, I, I just don't understand why someone wants to downplay someone's accomplishments. I, I'm happy for anybody that wins anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, Wally Hennessy, I mean, like he's, drove great horses he's been great you know what i mean like he carries this crazy high percentage you know what i mean he's, he's he's not a spring chicken anymore you know i mean sorry wally whatever but like this guy crushes right like, you know what i mean drew campbell and he campbell and, and man, they they crush like they don't just do that because they're they're no talent drivers like, i mean that's where they live it's tough like what i do is not easy like this is like it's not easy for me and you know i do it but like I, i'm sure teacher will say it as much as anybody like he's drove and he drove all those races that year and went all those races you know because he's the man or whatever but he didn't repeat it he just because did it's it, yeah. hard to do yeah. you know what I mean like it's not like I said there's a lot of people that probably could win a thousand races in a year if it was easy to get to the racetracks I mean there's a lot of guys with talent I'm not just saying me I'm not just saying two or three other guys like there's probably ten guys that could probably win a thousand races in a year if they can get to the tracks and get themselves there and, and, and be fresh that's another thing some people can't be fresh and be excited about racing and I, I the more I race and win I'm the more excited I get you know and, and I, it's something I love to do and I think that's a big part of it you gotta I'm, I'm as fresh as can be but the schedule I keep 
I said, well, you know, I'm Sam and Jody. They said they raced a couple over there, and I was driving for them at Northfield. Some they said, hey, if you go over the meadows, we'll put you down. And and I thought that that's a great idea. It's two hours away, and you know. And I started coming over, and then people started I was going to be there, and it, you know, it's really, really done. I remember know, it was good. Sam and Jody that yeah. really kind of started. Yeah, it. it's, it's taken off for me. You know, Mercury, I'm like 100% loyal to. Beaver, I drive most. You know what I mean, like. But sometimes you're like, you know, he's got some tires that will get up in class and I've got a horse that's already in that class and it's hard to and I drive a lot for good, I mean, you know, Loney and, and you know, Jessica Rogner and, you know, Billy Rhodes and, you know, I mean, I've got a nice little group of people I drive for, you know, and, and there's a lot of others too. I drive for Herman and I drive a little bit for everybody. Like today I got like a grab bag. Like, you know what I mean? I, I'm, like, yeah. I don't think I'm driving two horses for any trailer trainer today. And, like, my first one scratched it to Billy Rhodes' horse, but he's had some six, or, six horses. Like, I win one today, I'm going to be, I'll be ecstatic. Like, that's the truth. Like, some days, I, I, cause I, I just looked and whatever, like, some of the horses, they're just marginal, you know what I mean? But you got to be in it to win it. When you're racing, yeah. do you feel like you, you get in the zone? Do you know you're in the zone? So you're like, oh, wow, that's my fourth win. Or... So there is, a, a, you know, a zone. And, like I said, like, I... I think that like not thinking about it and not, I mean like the no pressure thing to me is so big, I think. Like like even Dave, you know, Brown was saying when he was, you know, getting ready to break the record, you know, he's like, he felt like it was never going to come. You know what I mean? Like so many horses were getting to be at the line and that starts playing in your head like, is this not meant to be right now? Is it supposed to be next week or what, what you know, what's going on? But that's why I do not look at stats. Like how many wins I have. I mean, you can have good horses to drive, like, you know, and sometimes, and I'll be honest with you, like, if you don't have the best to drive, like, and you have a couple good ones and you win a couple, like, you got that good feeling, you know, I mean, the horse feels it, you're the one that might not have as much of a shot, you know, and you got to put horses in position to win anyway, like, I, that's why I tell, that's another thing I tell, like, some of the younger guys, whatever, like, these people, don't, don't listen to these trainers and everybody, like, tell you how to drive, like, they're putting you, they're still putting you down to drive for a reason. Like, you're the driver, they're the trainer. Like, if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Like, say, hey, okay, yeah, I should have done this, or I messed up, whatever, sorry, the horse was good. You know what I mean? Just, just be honest about it. Like, but your job is to put the horse in the best position to make the most money, period. You know, like, it's not necessarily to win every single time. I go blow in, I come back to the car and meditate. Yeah, I just go in there and I blow in, and then... Booty shot, hey. It's like it's like the blown day. When he broke the record. Because um, he, we're on the same schedule. My locker, Dean Wolver back here. We got Rawlings, Tyler, Tony when he's here. It's my neighbor. Hopefully Bobby's holding this in here for a minute. Uh, yeah, we 
I'm not as tough as you. Someday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Joe says it's going to be like nothing. Huh? Mike's right. Mike's right. There's no rain in the forecast till like 4 o'clock, and Mike told me it will be raining, he said. He does not miss. I understand you're the weatherman. <laughs> yeah, I am. Trust the weatherman. In my opinion, it's down in class because they've been putting them in like 10 claimer and stuff. But overall, I think this is uh, one, one to three. He should be all right. Hmm, well, um, well, I don't have my socks on. No, I got my color socks on. I didn't really expect a ton, but the horse in the, in the open, I thought, might uh, race a little bit better. But with the rain and stuff like that, made the track really soft. It wasn't going to hold the track very good. Um, I know the horse in the front, when he cuts the mile, does pull up. So um, I gave a shot first over. The trainer said maybe he doesn't like that, but I do remember winning him with the Metcat, which, um, but I mean, I had four thirds, I think. So only drove six. Didn't really have uh, any standouts today but you know I gave a bunch of them a shot and they hey that's just the day you know what I mean you're not gonna win every single race every single day I'm just uh hey I made it here safely and hope we make it back safely and and I'll worry about tonight I mean hopefully I have some luck tonight I don't know really what I have in but um I know some series are starting and stuff like that and got some good trainers to drive for tonight so hopefully it's a little bit better today where are you off to now Northfield Park from the second to the last so 14 I'm not in the first